Hello. Hello, Kaylee. Yeah. Hey, it's Roy. I'm the manager here. Hi. Hi. Um, I was just reading this uh, complaint of yours that you left online, and I see here that you think that we're a fucking bank. No, I didn't say that. Well, you implied it, though. I mean, you're talking about... You no. Know. Well, okay. I didn't use that language. Well, I know, but you implied that language. So what's the problem, then? No, I did not imply that. And I'm sorry, you're the manager? Yeah, I'm the manager. you just use that? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, you know, your, your complaint was very... I'm sorry, what was your name? My name is Roy. Roy, and your last name? Jerbel. I'm the store manager. Jerbel, okay. But listen, you need to tell me what your problem is. I explained it pretty well, and I did not use that language. I know, but it's it's a lot of a lot of stuff to read here. I can't read all this. Like you're 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 just upset because we couldn't give you the right amount of twenty dollar bills or something. Listen, my complaint was the way that I was treated by your employees. Yeah, I waited and waited and waited, and I was very kind, and I was not rude to them. Yeah, but we have we have a uh, a note, uh, like a little sign at the front of every register, and it says we are not a bank. You mean does it say that you're not a fucking bank? Oh no, I no, we wouldn't write that on the sign. No, you just added that. I'm going to tell you something. I have family that's very high up in food store, so I know how a grocery store should be run. Mm Hmm. So. I'm telling you that customers, I, if, if my father knew how that was being treated at any one of the food stores, it would not go over well. And I guarantee if my father knew that one of his store managers called and spoke to a customer the way that you just spoke to me, it would not be good for that manager. Oh, your father sounds like so a dick. So I'm glad that I have your not name. Yeah. And do not ever speak to me that way again. Hey, could, could I get your father's phone number? What the fuck is this? R E. F-E-R We be touching tones, calling phones We rip from Craigslist Systematic prank machine It's never been better than this Feeling fine, dial your line You don't know what the facts is Running strong for 20 years Cactus Cactus This ain't a game Playing on these phones Roy gets a little boner Every time he hears the dial tone Just like when I see There's a brand new upload We eat, sleep and listen to the Snowplow show My name is Sensei Doug, I happen to know Tai Chi See you giving snake eyes and we're gonna have a disagreement Call you morning, night or evening If we hack your voicemail, we call it an achievement If you laugh, try your best to conceal it When the number's disconnected, we know it's a bereavement Shit Please hang up and give a moment of silence Message PLA PLA Cactus Old man story mode. Hi, my name is Roy. I'm calling from the corporate office. Sorry that you're busy, but the problem we got is the server's gone wrong. Your sales don't exist. We're gonna need you to go out back. Am I supposed to be doing this? Yes, find the breaker box. One by one, we need them switches all flicked off. It's normal if the lights go out in and around the shop. Keep on flicking switches till the phone cuts off. Plunge into darkness, we are the master artists The tilts are starting, the funny part is I can hear us laughing, but still make sure they power down Every switch in this base cause a mass confusion For every single department, PLA making every mark Open the fuse compartment Bro, you got some balls, mister Oh no! No, I can't do that, sir, sorry <laughs> oh, No, it's okay, I'm calling from the corporate office Snowplow show Hey there, I'm Brad, and you're listening to The Snowplow Show. This is episode 566, and today is June 30th, 2019. This show is brought to you by F and Reality, Miguel F, Serial Shitter, FOD87, and I Regret Jumping. Those are some of the sponsors. Not my favorite sponsors or everything, but it's this show's sponsors. You know, they're okay as far as sponsors go. They're all right. I don't hate them or anything. They keep the shows going when I would otherwise be going outside and getting some sun and not slowly dying up here in the Situation Room. Today's show art is brought to you by Nick Caesar, the guy that makes a lot of the show art here. I think we need to take a minute and pay tribute to the person who makes a lot of our show art. 
His name is Nick Caesar, and he does so much show art for the Phone Losers. I mean, just an incredible amount of show art. It's insane. If you go to scaryart.spreadshirt.com, which I'm going to link to in the show notes, you will see a bunch of his shirts. I'm looking right now at all of his shirts. There are about four or five or six, seven rows of shirts that have nothing to do with PLA. But if you keep scrolling on down to that seventh line, you will see a shirt for HoboCon that's happening this year. He calls it HoboFest for some reason. And he's referring to the September 7th meetup that we're having in Chicago this year, which I will most likely be at. But Nick Caesar does a lot of art for a lot of people. He's got a ton of shirts in here. And if you just scroll through page after page after page, you will see so much PLA art. It is insane. Like here's one he made for PLA. It says, I make killer robots at home. Here's a Mount Pranksmore. It has a picture of me and Laugh Track Matt and Carlito and Dwight on it in a pretend Mount Rushmore. Here's a Phone Losers of America mega shirt. I'm gonna link directly to this one because this is an awesome design. It has kind of a PLA bell and a cactus that says Obey the Cactus. It's got a snake on top giving snake eyes. It's got phones and go cups. It's got everything. It's got everything you could possibly want. I own this shirt. I got it in purple. Let's see what else there is on the main page. There's an angry cactus that says, stop stealing our pins. Here's another one that says, tell those kids to shut the fuck up. That's just on the first page. On the second page, we have this amazing artwork he did for Hang Up the Phone. It's got one of those toy phones from the 60s or 70s. You'll recognize it when you see it. And there's a cactus driving it around and holding a go cup and a phone and he's got a headband on like he's sensei doug i think he has snake eyes i can't believe i haven't ordered that shirt yet i have like three or four nick caesar shirts here's a tenants from hell shirt where he's standing inside of an apartment with grass on the carpet he's holding a microwave and a hose with water coming out of it you see a toilet in the background with the cactus sitting on it says tenants from hell if you like this show how are you not buying these shirts there's a santa claus shirt from back when i was doing the santa claus pranks to malls i'm not gonna go another page deep because this just goes on forever and ever and ever on nick caesar's spreadshirt store i think all of you right now like while you're listening to this show you should go to scaryart.spreadshirt.com and peruse the shirts that he has both PLA and non-PLA. He does really cool art when it's not PLA. Wait, that sounded bad. No, you know what I'm saying. He does some really cool non-PLA stuff. He's an internationally recognized artist. His art has been featured in movies such as Scream 3. That's pretty impressive. That would make you want to buy this guy's shirts, right? I don't know. I'm just really impressed with Nick's shirts for some reason tonight. Because thinking about it, I think I probably have quite possibly the largest collection of prank call t-shirts that any prank call show has ever had ever which is pretty amazing and it's all thanks to nick caesar from scary-art.com that's his website scary and then the hyphen sign and then art.com i mean the minus sign not the hyphen sign what am i talking about i have nick caesar paintings here in the situation room of cactuses he did a painting of my cat bernadette and if you don't own a nick caesar t-shirt then you are a filthy communist that's what you are you're basically an al-qaeda you caused 9-11 by not owning nick caesar's t-shirts i swear this is not a paid product placement advertisement thing i just really love nick caesar tonight i mean holy shit all this fucking art I was working on a Photoshop kind of image of like all of his artwork crammed together in one image. I got really far into it and then my computer started shitting itself. It's like, holy crap, this is so much art. We can't handle it. You don't have enough memory to complete these operations that you're trying to do. But I wonder, since I reinstalled Windows last week, maybe it'll let me now. Maybe it won't have such a problem. And I can finish up this image that I was making of Nick Caesar's art because I want to make a poster of all of this stuff. So anyway, this is a really long intro. I need to shut the fuck up and start the show. Today was a live show that I did this morning in between listening to a bunch of Molecular Heckler on Mixler. He was doing tons of karaoke at us. You gotta love that Molecular Heckler. So that's what I'm gonna play next. And while you're listening to today's live show, go check out Nick Caesar's stuff. His links are in the show notes. Or you can just go to scaryart.spreadshirt.com. 
for way more PLA t-shirts than you can find in my own Spreadshirt store. Nick Caesar's links are always in the show notes. Every show I've done for the past couple of years, I've had a link to Nick Caesar in them. Just check out the show notes on snowplowshow.com and you will see them down there somewhere, I think in the second paragraph. Please buy a Nick Caesar t-shirt. I don't get any of the money from it. It all goes to Nick Caesar. I promise. Okay, live show time. Here we go. But I'm still looking. I'm still looking for things. I really didn't find a whole lot, so I don't know. Maybe this will be a short show today. Maybe. But I can just look up more stuff live on the air. Oh, look, here's another one. This one's a hue sale. It's not a huge sale. It's a hue sale. My neighbor's having a yard sale today. Right outside my window right now. I had to leave the window open so she can hear me screaming about yard sales and she'll think I'm talking about her. It'd be hilarious. Clicked that page away. All right, I guess I should do some calls, right? I suppose. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. All right, so we're going to do some calls today. Yard sale calls. I'm going to call people from Craigslist that are having yard sales. And we're going to say wacky things to them. I'm going to try to watch the chat rooms, but they're in really inconvenient spots. Here, let me move them around on my screen so I can see them better. Oh, I know what to do. YouTube lets you pop out the chat room. That's what I'll do. I'm popping it out. This is the kind of stuff I should have done before the show started. All right, now I can see the YouTube chat. And I can see the Mixler chat. I'm broadcasting on Mixler.com slash is this thing on also, as well as YouTube, as well as uh, the other thing, Shoutcast. Huge moving sale, very cheap, everything must go. Furniture, desk, file cabinet, kitchen items, men and women's clothing and shoes. Hello? Hello? No. Oh hey, you, you're you're having the uh, the huge moving sale. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hey. Um. Why today, of all days? Wow. Motherfucker. Please what? leave your message uh, for. One more try. Please leave your message for. You know, I'm just gonna. Jason. Oh, fucking Jason. I was just going to let his number play if if, if he's going to be like that. Just going to let it go out over the air. Just let it happen. This is the whole show today. Just ringing phones. People hanging up on me. Everybody prepare for that for the next hour or two. We've got DVDs, children's books, 16-gallon rigid shop vac Luggage, luggage of all sizes. Pusses of all sizes. They got pusses there. Hello? Hey, Jeff. Yeah. It's your neighbor, Roy. You're doing the... Who? Roy, you're doing the garage sale? I'm, I'm over here on... Yeah? I'm over here on uh, Allway Drive. You know, just like a block. On where? Who is it? A block over. This is Roy, your neighbor. I live like a block. I'm like around the block on the other side. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm the one that um, also has a yard sale today, and I don't see why you're doing one on the day that I'm doing one. Oh, you're doing one too? Yeah. Yeah, what are you trying to take my business? Okay, I can barely hear you. Uh, your phone, I don't know if it's your phone acting up or what. <laughs> Why are you trying to take my business? Why are you taking my business for? I'm not trying to take your business. It seems like you're trying to take my business. Like, I'm having a yard sale, so what do you do? You go and have a yard sale, too? Like, what's your problem? Uh, you have a good day. I hope your sale, I hope your sale does well. I hope your sale goes shitty, Jeff. Fuck, now I'm having phone problems? Really? I'm going to try and do a speed test, make sure my ping's all right. I sure don't want to disconnect everything, though. Ah, shit! My ping is fucking terrible. No! What do I do? 
Shit. All right. <laughs> oh, today doing a show today was a bad idea. My ping is 29 milliseconds. Usually, if my ping is, um, oh man, my upload speed's bad too. Is it just because I'm YouTubing it? Is that why? I mean, usually I can YouTube it and it's fine. I don't know if I can do a show with 29 milliseconds. That's crazy. I think I might go uh, reboot a router and get kicked off of YouTube. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, you know what? It could be. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Nine files. Oh, man. Dropbox is syncing a bunch of GoPro files. <laughs> Maybe that's it. I also know you're not supposed to uh, speed test while you're, you know, streaming and stuff. Okay, let's... Dropbox is turned off. Let's see how it is now. Might be slightly better. <gasps> it's 10. It's 10. Okay. I think it was Dropbox. It was Dropbox's fault. Let's call Jeff back and <laughs> let him know that the connection issues have, have been resolved. Fucking Dropbox. My upload speed is slightly better, but it's still low because I'm broadcasting. Hello? Jeff! Yeah? I, I got my, uh, I think I got my connection issues worked out. My Dropbox was on in the background, so it was making my phone call sound bad. Yeah, I can still hear, like, music in the background. Yeah. I'm and I, I can hear myself echo. Fuck! Really? Is it a bad echo? Yeah, real bad Shit. echo. Shit. wonder why. What do you think's the problem? Okay, what about now? Is the echo gone? Jeff? I don't know. Can you shut that music off? The, the music's off. You can still hear the music? Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. Okay, I turned it down. Now now do you hear music? Did the music... So where are you located? I, I'm over here... We we're in the same area. Always Drive. D did the music go away? You're in Olive Drive? Y always. Always. Oh, okay. Yeah, all, all way. Hey, um, did the music go away? I, I still hear that music, but... You still hear the music? Have you been getting much business? I've been trying, man. I'm... I haven't been getting too many people coming. Okay, look, I just totally turned off the music. It's gone. So oh, I can hear you now. Okay, Perfect. all right, that was the problem the whole time. Yeah. Okay. So what the fuck? Why are you stealing my business? Like, what's your problem? I'm not. Like, I thought we were. I thought we were good neighbors. <laughs> you know, like I I used to jog around the block and I'd wave at you and stuff. Okay. Well. I, I didn't know you were having a grudge, so I know. why are you well, stealing my business? I'm not stealing your business. I had mine first, and you've oh. been doing it for three days. How did you have yours first? I started mine on Thursday, but you, you knew I was doing it because then you started yours on Friday. You're, you're, kind oh, of, okay. you're kind of an asshole. Okay. I hope you're joking around. No. If you're, not, you're a dick, and don't call me anymore. Why would I joke around about this? <laughs> okay. Uh, no music today, apparently. So last week I got a new mixer and um, it's, it appears to work slightly differently than my last mixer even though it's like the same brand and looks the same. I don't know. It has more inputs but it's different and I don't know why. And he continues to hear music when I turn the music all the way down. God damn it. So um, no music. You're just going to hear me mouth breathing because the music's not going to cover it up. I'm just going to mouth breathe a bunch. Maybe I'll do beatboxing while uh while I'm dialing numbers. That's what I'll do. This guy is selling fishing poles. It's a large moving sale. It's got a cherry wood dining set. Leather sofa. Lots of knickknacks, lots of uh glass type things up on a shelf. Holy shit, a lot of glass things. Hi, you reached Patty. I'm not available. Please. So many glass things. I know it's the sin, Mr. Biggs. Hello? Patty. Yes? Uh, it's Roy. I'm the clown. I'm going to be at your uh, yard sale here in just a minute. 
I'm on the way over. Okay. Um, I'm going to be doing balloon animals and face painting for the kids. Huh? Can I come in your house or do I have to do it outside? Because it's kind of hot outside today. Uh, uh, who am I speaking with? It's Roy. I'm Roy the Clown. Roy the Clown. Yep. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. You must have the wrong phone number. Uh, no, you're on <laughs> Street, right? I'm having a moving sale, yes. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to, I just, uh, I kind of go from moving sale to moving sale. And yeah, no I, thank you. No, no thank you. Oh, no, I'm coming. No, thank I, you. you can't stop me. Oh. I, I've got the law on my side. I'm going to be coming there and doing face painting and balloon animals. Well, not on my property, you are, Rory. Yes, I am. I have every right to be there. It's a, yard, it's a public yard sale. So I'm I'm just gonna like I'm not gonna cause problems. I'm not drinking. Well, um, Roy, I just don't think that's a good idea. But here, why don't you talk to James about can, that? Can I can I come in the house though? Can I at least? No, you won't be able to come in the house. Why not? Who, who is this guy? You, you let other Last people come. Last name Roy. You you let other people come in the house. Just now. I don't know who is this man who just called me. His name is Roy. Well, there you go. You answered your Hello. own. Hello, James. Hello, James. Yeah. Hey, it's it's Roy. I'm I'm the cl Roy the clown. I, I, Who's the clown? Well, I, no, you don't have to be derogatory about it. I'm I'm like in a clown suit, you know, face paint and all that. I'm coming to your yard sale today, and I'm gonna do face no, painting. No, I I'm not asking. No. I'm gonna set up a table in your driveway. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, I don't think so. I have the law. If you do, I will call the cops. No, no, the law. The cops. the cops will tell you to get off of my property. The law's on my side. Oh, I don't know what I meant by that, but people hate clowns. Hello. Tell tell Patty to shut the fuck up in the background. You're on the phone. Uh, dude, you come over here and I'll kick your ass. Oh, you won't kick my ass. You can't kick a clown's ass. You're gonna kick a clown's ass in front of a bunch of kids. I just got threatened. Oh, thanks, Lude. I feel lonely without my music, you know? You know, I'm going to try something here. I have a plan. Here's my plan. I'm going to turn down these three knobs here. We're going to turn up the music just a little bit. And I'm going to call my cell phone. Let's see what this sounds like. Hello? Who is this? Hello? Yeah, check that out. I don't hear I don't hear shit. Wait, let me see if I can there it is. There it is. Uh, I got the music to go away. I'm a genius! I'm a genius! Couldn't hear shit. I could just leave my music going the whole time. Wouldn't even matter. So thanks for all the super chats, everyone. Uh, David Z sent me a couple bucks. Javon wants me to tell them that I suffer from from priapism. Yeah, then I'd have to look up that word and see. I need them to stare when I come to their yard sale. The fuck? Uh, thank you, Devo. Devo Nanus Tart. And cheeseburgers, 747. Is it your birthday, cheeseburgers? Happy birthday. Paying people to say happy birthday to you. That's pretty weird. Maybe he thinks it's my birthday. Thank you for wishing me happy birthday. Thanks, Luda. Luda loves me. Love you too, Luda. And Hobo Bob says Dwight, Dwab, the Brad and Dwight got my sister pregnant again and tried to blame it all on Mr. Biggs. Because Mr. Biggs is responsible. Okay, I'm happy that the music's back. Very happy about this. Thanks everyone for wishing me a happy birthday today. Or maybe they're all wishing Cheeseburger Man a happy birthday. Okay, quick, quick ideas. What am I doing to this next person? Quick, I've done the two things that I've done already before many, many times. I've just been doing all my default stuff 
quick ideas. What am I doing? Mr. Biggs is a coos hound. Happy 57th, Brad. Go buy a cake. Thanks, Peg Needle. Tell them you offer yard sale security services. I'm going to bring a gun. I'm going to start it out with, I'm coming to your yard sale with a gun. Because I'm a security guy. <laughs> Great idea, right? Loss prevention for yard sales. Been looking for a good yard to rent. Thanks again, Luda. It's not my birthday, jeez. I mean, it is my birthday. Keep those super chats coming. Ask if I can use their shower. I'm just, I'm just gonna, like, if I don't see something better, I'm gonna ask if I can use their shower. That's from Javier. That's how you pronounce that. I'm blind and I'm gonna need help. I'm gonna be knocking shit over. <phone rings> Undercover yard sale shopper. Hey, I like that one for, uh, like being a loss prevention person. <phone rings> be a secret shopper. Asked to buy their unwashed clothes. Oh man, I can't keep up with all these ideas. Hello? Oh. Hello? 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 Uh, hello, sir? Ma'am? Yard sale person? Donna? Whoa. Donna, you suck at suck setting up your voicemail. Apparently. I'm a nudist and I'm coming to the yard sale. Ask for an employee discount. <laughs> Oh, that could be fun, Charles. Say they're bringing, up, bringing too much traffic to the neighborhood. Hello? Hey, I'm calling about that yard sale thing. Yes. How much later are you going to be tonight? Um, Probably just till 3 o'clock. Okay, I work in loss prevention. I work in loss prevention. I'm going to be there in just a minute. And I'm, okay. I'm going to look like any other yard sale browser. I'm just going to be uh -huh. ha hanging out there. For the remainder of the yard sale today, just slowly browsing, and I'm going to keep an eye on the other customers and make sure they don't steal. Oh, well, there's really have many any customers today. <laughs> well, you never know. You know, you might get one like right now that's going to steal from you. I'm going to be out there for a, okay. lo a long time, though. I'm going to be out there until you quit. I'm going to watch everyone. Uh, okay, I'll let my um, boyfriend's mother know. You're who? I'm gonna let his, my boyfriend's mother know she's she's doing it outside. Oh, are you? You gross. Are you pointing out that you have a boyfriend because you think I'm hitting on you? Because I'm not. I'm just. No, 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 no. We're in the house. She's outside. I just have to go let her know. It's kind of. She just told me. Okay. A lot of prevention. Yeah, it's kind of hot outside. I'm probably gonna be sweating. Yeah. So, okay. I'm just saying. Um, do you think like at some point can I just run inside real quick and take a shower? No, I don't think so. No, I'm bringing a gym bag, so I have, like, you know, my own no. sh shampoo. I, <laughs> I have, don't know who you are. I don't know what you're talking about, I'm but with, no, I don't think so. I'm with Loss Prevention. My name is Roy. Aw. Try again. Notice she didn't complain about the music that she could hear blasting at her. Tell her you're bringing your gun. No, Thomas. Not doing it. So how do you like that? I did the shower and the loss prevention thing. Hey, um, Donna? Yeah? We, we didn't talk about my payment yet. We didn't negotiate my, my fees. Fees for what? I, I'm going to do loss prevention at your yard sale. I'm going to make sure nobody shoplifts. Oh, hon, if anybody shoplifts on my property, they won't have no feet left. Oh, no, that's... What the hell? You're, I'll you're, chew his foot off. And he won't have to worry about it. You're going to chew their foot off? Yeah. That's fucked up, lady. I don't think Hey, that's about as fucked up as you are calling me, telling me this. Hey, uh, I just... Very well ripped off my phone. I just want to... Can I, can I just, like, not do the lost... Don't get a whistle and right in there! Hey, shut the Come fuck up. Come over and see what you get. We shut don't want you here. We don't need no shut, loss prevention. Shut, shut the fuck up. I, I want to ask a question. Um, do you think... Oh. Was that the boyfriend yelling at me or was that something else? <laughs> uh, Brandon wants me to say I'll have sex with her to pay for whatever I buy. I'm going to try them one more time. 
Just one more time. On this call, I'm going to turn the music all the way up. Hey, I, I just want to apologize for before. Hey, hey, let me tell you something. Come on over here, bro. This is her son right here. I will kick the shit out of your You still head. live with your grandma at your age? Bring it on over here, motherfucker. You still live with your grandma? Like, how old are you? You must be a loser. This is guy. Hey, I, I just want to... I just want to use the shower. Ask if they know where to score some meth or heroin. Okay, Nelson. Hello? Hey, I'm calling about your yard sale. Uh, yeah, we're finished with that. I'm sorry. Uh, I know I was there earlier. I bought some stuff. Okay. Uh, the glassware? It, it wasn't today. I know. Yeah, I yeah it wasn't today. I didn't say it was today. I said earlier. Oh, okay. 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 What's going on? All right. So, um, I, I bought the uh, the framed photo, the picture. You know, the pi um, it was in a frame. Uh, okay. Hey, I'm gonna have you talk to my wife because I that doesn't sound familiar to me. Hang on. Uh, I didn't say the framed photo. Uh, hello. Hey, uh, the thing that you sold me, there was money in it. There was there was like over seven hundred dollars of money. The electronic thing. Oh, okay. I took it apart. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah. So I got free money. Thanks. How come you're not having uh, the yard sale today, though? Because I was going to come back and see if I could get more stuff with money in it. And, like, um, I don't, it says here on Craigslist that you're doing it today, but then you're not. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah. I, uh, what, what are you talking about? You found $700 worth of money in what? Inside the electronic thing. What what electronic thing? Was it a monitor? I don't know. Uh, I mean, what? Why are you keeping money inside your electronics? That's weird. Well, why not just keep it? First of all, I don't think you found money inside anything. And second of all, what what is the point of calling? Well, I was gonna see if you wanted it back, but um, it's gonna cost like um, you know processing fees and stuff. Do you think you could go to Western Union and? Uh, I'm going to give you the cash, but then I'll... Hey, goodbye. I'll... <laughs> Don't call again. I didn't know where to go with that. Everybody's freaking out that she has a wife in the chat room. Uh, guess what, you guys? It's 2019. Where the hell have you been? <laughs> Don't assume genders and stuff. Okay, so we have an estate sale here. <laughs> But Paul S. has a good one there. Is there a man I could talk to? They had a framed uh, picture, but I guess maybe they didn't sell it. So that's why I moved to electronics. They had a monitor for sale. But then that's all I saw. All right, estate sale. What am I doing at the estate sale? Am I going to ask them about meth and heroin? Yellow. Yellow. Uh, I'm coming to your estate sale here in just a little bit. Okay. Is it going to be an issue if I've used a lot of drugs? Probably, if you, when have you used these drugs? Well, I'm currently using them, and I'll probably continue to use them as I'm browsing the estate sale. Is it all indoors? Because I just don't want to bump. It's indoors, sorry. I don't want to bump. And, and no, if, if you're using drugs, uh, it's, it's not a good thing. It's just meth. It's not like it's heroin. It doesn't matter, man. It okay. doesn't matter what it is. I'm not going to tell you then that I'm the one that's using drugs. Oh, I'll pretty much know, probably. I don't think you will. I'm, like, right. I function better when I'm on drugs than when I'm off drugs. Good luck with that, then. So, I just assume that you didn't even come to the sale, even if you were going to spend a million dollars and take everything home with you. Do you even have a million dollars worth of stuff? No, but I got 100000 Yeah, I doubt it. You probably never had 100000 in your Good life. Luck. Hey. I was going to negotiate. Drugs for merchandise. I can give you $100,000 worth of drugs. Yeah, 3D Time Space says coffee's a drug. I wonder if he had any coffee today. He's as guilty as I am here on my meth. I regret jumping says I have a heroin IV drip. I should call and say that um, merchandise had drugs in it. All right, yard sale! Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. It just goes on and on. We've got a $25 exercise bike. Got a big old zebra striped chair. <laughs> 
tables. We got one of those um, seats that you put in the shower so you can sit down and shower. Those are useful. I know if I didn't have one, I would just never shower, ever. Hello? Hey, uh, I was at your yard sale earlier. I'm the one that bought the, the table. Oh, you bought the table earlier? Yeah, that was me. Oh, hi. Hi. Hey, um, I was uh, cleaning it up, you know, just wiping it down and going to put it in the, in, the, in the living room and stuff. Uh-huh. And I found a bag of drugs stapled to the bottom of it. Do you want those back? Um, no? Who's this? My name's Roy. I just didn't know if you'd want those back. Yeah, I want those back. Okay, all of them? All of it. What if I've already used some of them? Uh, darn it. I, I didn't use much, but I used some of them. Oh, okay. Well, can you give me the ones that you didn't use? Yeah. Is it okay if I take a few more, though, on the way over? Um... Mm, possibly. Well, yes or no, because I'm leaving right now to come and bring you these drugs. Um, no. And how much are the drugs worth to you? Um, a lot. You didn't find any of my bitcoins out there. I dropped some of my bitcoins. No, I didn't find any of that. Is it okay if the drugs are upside down now? Upside down? How? I just, they're all upside down now. I kind of, I don't know, they're just upside down. Is that going to be an issue? Okay. Yeah, that's going to be a big issue. Do you, so I don't have to come over then? You don't want the drugs? Um, well, I guess I'll take them either way. Even if they're upside down? Yeah. What if it's just ibuprofen? Uh, okay, you can keep it. Can you put your dog on the phone, please? Um, okay, hold on. Just real quick. Let me know when he's on the phone. Okay. Okay. And you said your name is Roy? Yeah. Is the dog on the phone yet? Um... Hold on. She's not doing anything. Well, I didn't say anything. You didn't tell me when, when the dog was on. Oh, sorry. Tell me when. Okay, she's on. Who's okay, a she's good on. boy? Who's a good boy? It's you. You're the good boy. Even though you're a girl. You're the good girl. Yes, you are. You're a girl. You're a good girl. Yes, you are. You're the good girl. Did she react? Yeah, she's wagging her tail. Oh, that's so cute. Can you send me a picture of your dog to this number? 426969. Right? <laughs> that's the one. Please send me a picture. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Hey. What? I like your podcast. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. It's awesome. Oh, you, you, you say the sweetest things. <laughs> You're welcome. All right. Bye, honey. Bye. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> she likes my podcast. <laughs> I guess it's a fake ad. I'm scared now. <laughs> what just happened?
I didn't announce to anybody that I'm doing a yard sale show, except to Devin. I told Devin yesterday that I'm doing a yard sale show. Oh, and she gave me a number. <laughs> so I blame Devin. Devin is the culprit. I think I just talked to Devin. But like, how would they know that I'm doing this state, this particular state? I'm so confused. This wasn't an actress. I did not pay that person to call me out. God damn it. Yeah, she even said 6969 the way that I do. Everyone's saying it's the FBI, FBI plant. I think I need to recover. I think we need to take a break. I need to recover. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm very concerned. I need to go turn on the air conditioner. I'm sweating a lot now. It's getting warm in here. <sighs> so confused. Okay, all right, let's, uh, you know. Just, just, just give me five minutes, you guys. Just five minutes. Welcome to my paradox. Eternally, there it's not on point like the horns on a triceratops. On point like some pointy things. And if this album flops, you're gonna see me work at Burger King. Do you want some fries? Or would you rather have a super magical surprise? Whoa! Oh, a shooting star. Let's make a wish. Maybe she looked me up 
like while I was talking to her, because I was talking to her for a long time, right? So maybe she looked up 4206969 prank call. Uh, I guess that seems unlikely. But I know if you do that, like, um, it does pull up phones or stuff. But then how would she know it's a podcast so immediately? Anyway, I turned on the air conditioner. Got myself a big glass of ice water. I ate a piece of bread. That's all I have in the house to eat right now. I looked up some more yard sales. I've got more numbers here. I don't see me going on too much longer, though. I'm going to have to cut this out soon. Been on for a whole hour now. I'm still looking up more yard sales. Hopefully they're not uh, FBI plants this next time when I call. I wonder if she's tuned in now. I'm sure she has. You know what, girl that I just talked to? I bet your dog's not even a good girl. Take that. I bet your dog's a piece of shit. You and your piece of shit dog. Who is not a good girl at all. That's what I think of you. You and your dog. You and that piece of shit dog. I'm sorry, that's mean. LOL, JK. There's an idea that somebody posted earlier. I really want to try this one. Mikatan Fox wants me to dump garbage at their yard sale so I don't have to pay to dump it at the dump. That is the best idea I've ever heard. I'm going to do that to at least a few of these. All right, yard sale, antiques, collectibles. Also, that girl that I talked to, oh, no. Didn't I find more of them at some point? I'm so confused. Because I was going to say she, um, you know, I, I found her number in the first batch of yard sales that I found, you know, right as I started the show. So she didn't have time to, like, plant one in there. She still wouldn't know where I was doing the show at. You know, which areas I'm calling from. God damn it! Now we're back to nobody answering their phones. Hello? Hey, I'm calling about your yard sale. Yeah. Is that still happening? Yep. Okay, how much longer you got on it? Well, it's a nice day. I'm pretty, pretty till what? 6 o'clock or so. Okay, great. I'm on my way over in a truck. I've got a refrigerator. It's one of those old refrigerators with the, uh, you know, it locks. It's got the big handle. It's like one from the 50s. I think it's lead-lined. Oh. I'm, I'm going to bring that over and put it in your garage sale. Because um, I don't want to take it to... Who is this? Uh, this is Roy. I live, you know, here in town. I just... Uh, just uh, I don't want to... Because the, the dump charges me for this sort of a thing. So I'm just gonna leave it. Yeah, I, I'm gonna leave it at your yard. Sale. I live up in I live up in Montgomery Creek. I know. I'm on my way, on Wood Hill Drive, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm on my way. I'm gonna I'm gonna just put my uh, refrigerator in your driveway and just leave it. And I'm not expecting any money in return. I'll just leave it. And if you sell it, you sell it. You could give it away for free, even. Um, no, I don't. I don't. Not interested in. And I have more stuff. I have some old lawn chairs. They're kind of rusty. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not interested in that stuff. I, I know, well, I'm just, I know you're not interested, but maybe your yard sale customers will be? No, I don't. I'm going to just bring all this. I take your property that I haven't seen onto my property to sell to somebody else. I, 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 know, I don't know who you are. So you, but I don't, I, so I please live don't in don't come a, over here. Please don't bring your stuff. Please don't bother me. No, I'm going to bring it over. I'm on my way. I'm almost there. Hey, I've Charlie, got, got the wrong guy. I've got a lawn chair. <laughs> I love that idea more than the idea of setting up my own table in their yard sale. It's basically the same idea, but slightly better. I don't know, about the same, but... <laughs> it has lead in it, so it's really expensive to dispose of. I could say I have a bunch of baby clothes, but I, they were in cardboard boxes in my basement when the basement flooded so they're pretty gross and moldy. I want to I want to put those in your yard sale. What are what other undesirable things can I offer people? 
at no charge to me. Wait. Hey, I'm calling about your yard sale. Yeah. I'm gonna be there in just a little bit. I've got a truck. Um, I've okay. got I've got like five boxes of baby clothes. Um, they're they're a little bit like they were left in my basement when the basement flooded. So I don't uh -huh. want them anymore. They're kind of moldy a little bit, but um, you can sell them though. Like I think they're still worth, especially the ones on top. I'm gonna leave those at your yard sale to sell. Are you serious? Yeah, and I've got extra stickers. Even I'm bringing stickers with me, and you don't have to pay me anything. I'm just gonna leave them there. <laughs> okay. Yep. Uh, I've got the baby clothes. I've got an old refrigerator. It doesn't run. No. Um, no. 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 Don't come here. Don't well, come here. Well, no. I'm. I'm stuff. on my way. I'm. I'm gonna be there in just a little bit. I. I just wanted to let you know, like, well, to you can come here, but if you unload shit, I'll call the police. No, Seriously, don't, don't unload don't, your shit here. No, I, I'm. I'm it's not. A yard sale to sell my stuff. This is a joke. No, right? I'm. I'm not gonna charge you money. Like, you can make all the profits. I don't even want them. I just wanna dump my stuff and leave. She hung up. They don't like this. Disturb says, I've already announced it on Craigslist with their address. So they have to take them. A broken riding lawnmower. My grandmother's ashes. Hello, you reached Julian. Enrique saying, why are all these baby clothes suddenly for sale? Was there an unfortunate accident? What a terrible thing to say. <laughs> and here I am laughing about it. Okay. Oscar's having a garage sale. There's not a lot of information about it. Wait, moving sales Sunday all day. Text me with what you are looking for, and I will text you back with a price. There's no pictures. Sunday only, all day. It says all day. I should say I'm going to come at 11. 11 at night. It's all day. Hello? Oscar. Yes. So are, is this a real yard sale because there's no pictures and it says I have to text you what I'm looking for? Uh, well, yeah, what exactly are you looking for? Because uh, we're moving so we can't pack in. You can't what? Pack in the, our stuff, but uh, if you're looking for something, I can. Okay, no, are you, is it an outdoor sale? Like are you selling things on tables and stuff outdoors? Can I come there and look around? Uh, everything is inside the house. Like around you gotta. Can I look around your house? Like there's I, nothing. Yeah, net, like nothing laying around. It's just uh, whatever I, you see, you like it maybe. Can I walk around your house? Right. Can I just walk around and take stuff? Uh, yeah, I do. Okay. Uh, how much are you gonna charge for a fan belt for a '98 Jeep? Fan belt? Yeah, fan belt for a '98 Jeep Wrangler. Go check how much real quick. Uh. How much? No, I don't have that. Uh... Yeah, I don't have that stuff. Okay, I'm. I've got some stuff that I'm selling. I'm gonna bring it to your house for you to sell. Okay. I've got a crate of chickens and some old cabinets. Okay. And uh, I've got a washing machine that doesn't work anymore. It's one of those old ones with the rollers in it, like from the 50s. I'm going to bring those. I'm going to leave those at your house so you can sell them. Okay. And I'm going to bring a refrigerator. I'm going to bring baby clothes. I'm on my way over right now. I'm going to bring tables and chairs. Are you still okay. there? Okay. I'm going to bring yeah. some shoes, lots of women's shoes. Okay, uh, yeah, because uh, we kind of start fixing the stuff out, so... Yeah, um, should I... Okay. So all this, your stuff's all inside. Am I going to bring all my stuff inside your house? Uh, we can put it in the garage if you want. Um, well, is that where the yard sale is? Because people got to walk around and yeah, look. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm planning to put it, put it in. Okay, I'm going to bring a couch. Okay. I'm bringing a couch. I'm bringing a flat screen TV. Uh, do you have internet there? Okay. Do you have internet? No. Do, do do your neighbors have internet? Like, do you know their Wi-Fi password? 
Uh, no, really. Because I, I got to set up, but, I got I to gotta set up my Roku so I can watch uh, Netflix. Oh, okay. I want to sit on the couch and watch Netflix. Okay, but uh, like uh, we don't have nothing set up, but we, but you can come and do that if you want. Well, you put it in the garage sale section. On okay. Craigslist. Yes. Uh, how much would you charge for a copy of Windows 95? And how many copies of it do you have? My Windows friend. 95? Oh, I, I, don't, I, don't put, I don't have that stuff. I don't know exactly what you see in there. Oh, no. Because I have like, a friend. Can you put an, an ad in Craigslist? That's all I did. Oh, yeah. I see. The, I don't know the exactly what they put. I'm going to bring all my stuff over. I'm going to bring a, a recliner chair. I'm going to bring a coffee table. Okay, I'm at the clean area. I've got pictures. I'm going to hang them up on the wall. I've got a drill. I'm going to drill screws into the wall. I'm going to hang up those pictures on the wall in your living room. Do you already have a couch in there? Yeah. You're going to have two couches. I'm bringing an extra couch. Can I sleep there tonight? No. Why not? It's my couch. Huh? You can't throw me off of my own couch. No, you can't. Sorry. It's my couch. You can't throw me off of my own couch. No, no. You know what? You got to be like that. No, never mind. Don't bring nothing. No, I'm bringing everything. I've got a, a no. U-Haul truck. I'm over on my way. <laughs> I was just waiting for him to hang up. And he did. Yay. A rug that really ties the room together. Yep, I should have said that. Wow, he was going to let me bring everything. A Betamax recorder. That's what I'm going to bring. Lots of Betamax tapes. Betamax movies. I have an old RV. Hello? Hey, I'm calling about your yard sales. Is it still going on? Uh, yes, it is. Um, until 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock. Oh, that's not very long. Yeah, well, uh, my, my, uh, depends because they're actually doing pretty good. So uh, my wife's there. I'm actually at work, so she's going to probably do it till about 3 or 4 now. Okay, well, I'm on my way over in a truck. I'm going to bring a couch for you guys to sell. I'm bringing a, ca okay. I'm bringing a couch, and um, it's not a very good couch. It's basically a piece of shit because I upgraded my couch recently, so I need to get rid of this one. It's been okay. sitting on my porch. Well, can I text you back out this number? Let me ask. Let me ask her real quick. No, I'm not asking. I'm just, I'm just gonna bring it by. I've got a bunch of stuff here I want to sell. I'm just gonna dump it off, and I don't want any money. You guys can just have it all. I've got like a bunch of Betamax um, videotapes. Well, yeah, yeah, I know. But the thing is, I don't have any. If I don't sell it, I don't have no storage in my garage to. Store. So have another yard sale. Have one tomorrow. I've got a bunch of baby clothes, but they were in the basement, so um, that got flooded, and they're all kind of... Well, I can't have one tomorrow. I work during the week. There's like a bunch of mold on the baby clothes. Well, you're not even there. It's just your wife. Wives don't work. Yeah, I understand that. I don't want nobody to go over there without me there. What? Nobody can come to the yard sale unless you're there? Well, yeah, no. No, people can come to the yard sale, but I, I mean, I, I don't know who you are. I know. I, know, I don't know you guys. I'm just going to bring over my... Um, it's a refrigerator that doesn't work. And a washer and dryer. The belt's missing on the dryer. Yeah, I don't want all that stuff in my house. I, you're going to sell it, though. You're going to sell it at the yard sale. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. You'll I don't, make money. I don't want it at my house. You're please. being stupid if you're, like, you don't want extra money? No, not if the stuff's broken or damaged. I don't. They'll give you money for it. It's worth scrap money. You can get, like, five bucks out of the dryer for scrap. Sir, I'm not interested, please. Well, you're being an idiot. Like, you're a bad businessman. Then that's fine. Can, I don't want it on my house. Okay, look, you have to work tomorrow. How about if I run your yard sale tomorrow? No. Because I'm not. I don't want anybody on my house, sir. I'm not. Do, well, I won't be in your house. I'll just be out outside. I'll bring a jar. I, to I understand that. I don't want it dropped off on my property unless I'm there. I know, but I could be there to sell things for you. No, thank you, sir. I don't want that. Why can't your wife run the yard sale tomorrow? Because she works too. I don't want that. Where she work at? It does, that doesn't concern you. That's none of your business. Whoa, I was just making conversation. Jesus Christ. Um, I'm, right. just, I'm just going to bring some of the stuff over. I'm just, Like, especially the couch. Do not go to my house, sir. I, I just want to bring the couch. The couch has been on my porch. Yes, please. Do not come to my house. Thank it's, you. It's been on my porch all year. I'm on... Oh. 
I'm a certified yard sale runner. That's what James says. Set up a lemon mate, lemonade, lemonade stand. <laughs> a rooster that won't stop fighting people. Says albatross. <laughs> I regret jumping has an idea that sounds amusing. Hello. Hey, um, this is Gary. I'm with the radio station, 98.3 The Mouth. Uh-huh. And we just ran some ads for your yard sale. Is it still going on? Uh, barely. Okay, it's, it's about to get a lot busier. We basically just ran an, a $7,000 ad campaign for your, for your uh, yard sale. Oh, yeah? So it's going to sell out. Like, there's going to be a lot of people there any second now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was an accident. Like, the, we got this intern, Chad, working, and he just did this as a joke. He thought it'd be funny, but we're f basically firing him here in a little bit. Oh, yeah. But in the meantime, there's uh, probably over 600 people on their way to your house right now. Really? And um, you're going to have to honor a, f a bunch of 50% off coupons. Okay. Because a bunch of people are at the station, and we handed them out. Uh, at, at the fair, you know? Yeah. How big's your yard? Pretty big. Do you have porta potties there? No. You're going to have to let people in to use the restroom? <laughs> no, I'm serious. Yeah. Like, you're going to have to. Like, it's at this point, it's against the law for you to not let people in to use the bathroom. Cause Why? Because you can't have that many people. Uh, you can't organize that many people to show up at your house and then not provide restroom utilities facilities whatever uh -huh. um, there's going to be a live band there there's a live bands come into play um, have you ever heard of <laughs> Tom Thomas and the Rileys hey you know what happened to me what I sold the bicycle for $40 oh you should have waited you could get more at this point oh no I should have waited it was right it was counterfeit I got two $20 bills that ain't real Oh, wow. All right, what'd you do? Did you call the police? Yeah. No, what am I going to do? Well, call the police. They gave you counterfeit bills. You get a hold uh, I don't know. Yeah, that sucks. That sucks. Like, Well, I mean, what are you going to do with the money? You can't be in possession of counterfeit money. They'll blame you for it. Or you'll accidentally oh, really? spend them somewhere, and they'll take you no, away. No, I won't do that. Well, you better destroy them. Put them in the garbage disposal. Yeah. Yep. Uh, there's going to be a band there, though. Um, they're on their way to set up. Oh, yeah? And there's just going to be hundreds of people in your yard within a matter of, I don't know, I'd say like a half hour tops. It's like they're going to start pouring in any second. Oh, yeah? Um, do you have electrical outlets for the band? Well, I got a plug right there. Yeah, that one right there. That one works. Uh, how many watts would you say the, that plug can handle? Like 2,000 watts? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Because they, they got the big speakers. They're going to set up a stage with lights and everything. So you might need to run another extension cord from another circuit through the window. Uh-huh. Have you ever heard of the Insane Clown Posse? Yeah. They're coming. My favorite band. Yep, they're on their way. ICP. Yeah, yeah. That's how, yeah, that's yeah. how us real juggalos say it, right? That's right. So we're down with the clown. <laughs> uh, they're going to need to tap directly into your um, breaker box so they can use the... That's fine. Okay, yeah, they're just going to clamp some uh, jumper cables on there and use the, you know, the full voltages. You excited? That sounds wonderful. You excited? Yeah. Get yourself all Come psyched up. All. Hey, you know what? You, sh you should just uh, take those 20s and just kind of throw them on the ground. And, you know, let some of the fans pick them up. <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> there you go. Fuck the Juggalos. No, nah, that's dirty. Nah, who cares, though? Juggalos smell bad. I do. This is $40 I don't have. Now I don't have a bicycle, either. Oh, that sucks. Oh, well. I'd call the police. <laughs> I really would. You should call the police. What am I going to tell them? They just give me $20 bills? Or, or just Mexico. go to the police station. Two girls and the one guy. Yeah. You should have recorded in all the primered, licenses. In a primered S10. See, there you go. You have a, 
And the first license plate, I think, was 7-1. See, how would you not turn this into the police? They, they probably, like someone else, might get their full description, and you'll get your money back or your bike or something. You got to go to the police with this. You have to. Come on. Be a crime fighter. Don't let them get away with this. They're probably juggalos. They're probably dirty juggalos. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can't wait for all these people. I'm going to go ahead and sit down and quit loading this stuff. All right, up. get ready. You excited? Okay. Yes, sir. Go, scream. Scream it out. Come on. Be like, woo -hoo! Yeah! All right. That was great. That was just brimming with <laughs> excitement and energy and yeah, okay yeah. all right all oh, right yeah. get ready here it comes icp at your house gigolo yep gigolos right on all right bye what station again uh 98.3 the mouth right 98.3 the mouth yep yep i hope you uh Rock. get a gps and go straight down into the hell all right. that, that's our okay. slogan Thank you. that's our slogan all right okay see you soon see you. bye all right that was weird I feel bad for him, but he's got a description and he's not going to go to the police. What a fucking idiot. Thanks, I regret jumping for that idea about the radio station. I'm completely out of numbers now. So it might be time to end the show. Moving after 20 years, we can't take it with us. And there's a big pile of trash bags. Alright, let's, uh, I don't know, let me search another area. You know what I should have said? And I bet you this has been suggested in the chat room already. I should have said I'm the one that did the counterfeit bills and laugh at him. Just laugh and laugh and laugh. Be like, you fucking idiot. Hold your bills up to the light next time. You big stupid. That would have been so funny. I felt bad for him. He, he seemed uh, sad about that. $40 and losing his bike. What a bummer. I've gone to people's houses buying things from him on Craigslist before. And they hold all of my bills up to the light. They're super paranoid. But now I guess I see why. I wouldn't even care. I'd just spend the counterfeit bills. I'd just be like, fuck it. I'd take them to Walmart where they have all their cameras. <laughs> I'd go to another yard sale and spend them there. That way I wouldn't get caught. That's what I'd do. I'm looking up yard sales right now. You're just going to have to give me a few minutes. Uh, I think I'm about done, though. I'm going to do one more very small batch, I guess. Then we're going to get going been an exciting show though thanks for hanging out with me everyone i got called out by, by a, a girl who listens to the show that was fun i got yelled at for uh because the guy didn't want me to bring my shit over thanks for that idea mikatan that was a good one i got yelled at for being a clown remember that time i got yelled at for being a clown that was fun Ooh, here's an epic yard sale Nope. Epic yard sale. Something for everyone and there's no pictures. I kind of have my doubts about it being epic. Hey, thanks, Hobo Bob the Bobo Bob. <laughs> um, Hobo Bob the Bobo Bob saying, After today's show, everyone meet at Whizbangs. And drinks and fried clams are on Mr. Biggs. Everyone meet at Whizbangs. I'm trying to look at uh, viewer activity so I can read the rest of the super chats and it's not letting me see them. I'll just leave that on for a minute. Maybe it'll come back. But thanks everyone for the super chats. That's nice of you. Everyone that's done those. Sorry I didn't use that one guy's idea because I, I, I'm I a dropout and I don't know what the fuck you're talking about with your big fancy long words and stuff. Some sort of a disease that or disorder that makes people not want to look at me. Or makes me want to be looked at. I was confused about that one. Very confused. Okay. I found three of them. Uh, this first one is not a yard sale, but it's in the yard sale section. Um, it's just a uh, chiming wall, clocks, and mirror. Clocks is spelled with an E on the end of it. So it's like clockas. Chiming wall, clocka. Mr. Biggs is very upset that uh, Bobo Bob the Hobo Bob is telling everyone that drinks and fried clams are on Mr. Biggs. Mr. Biggs is not made of clams, you know. God damn it, Hobo Bob the Bobo Bob. Hello? 
Hey, um, you're having that garage sale today, right? Pardon me? Are you are you having a garage sale today? I'm very confused because the picture just says it's a clock. No, I don't have a garage sale. Just I sell my your, your, wall your... clock and um, I have a mirror. That's it. Yeah. Um. Did any of those sell yet? Are they still there? Yeah, I still have. Okay, I'm gonna come over and buy all three for sixty dollars, right? Uh, yeah, that's right. Okay, but I want to know if I can break them in your house. I want to break them. I'm going to bring a golf club. Break what? I want to break the clocks. I want to take a golf club, and I'm just going to bang the clocks and break all the glass in the house. Well, why? Because it's for stress relief. It'll make me feel better. I just want to break something. I want to break no, things. No, I don't have this. Thing. I'm sorry. But I'll I'm sorry. I'll pay for it. I'll pay for it. I'm gonna pay money. No, no. Take, take, take somewhere else to break. Them. Um, eighty dollars. I'll pay eighty dollars. That way, you know, to pay for you to clean up the glass. No, I'm sorry. Eight, I'm sorry. Eighty dollars. If you want to talk to my husband, that's fine. Okay. You want to talk to him? Well, why can't I break the glass? No, you I, can't. I want, uh, if you want to break them, that's fine. That's your idea. You have to take them somewhere else to break them. Can I take not in my house? Can I do it in your driveway? No. I want to break them in your driveway. No, no, I'm Pl sorry. Oh, please. Okay, you have a nice day. Okay, bye -bye. put put your husband on, please. Husband. Husband. Oh. There's all the super chats. Thank you, Ryan Jardina, for the four dollars and twenty cents. What an odd number to send me. Uh, Bobo Bob the Hobo Bob also wait Hobo Bob the Bobo Bob uh, also did one earlier. He said, "How come you never pull weeds or do any landscaping when you go to these yard sales?" That's a good question. Uh, Isaac said, "Having lots of fun listening to your not boring show." Uh, Devo Nana's Tart wants me to explain a Cleveland steamer to an old lady. Here, hold on. Just a minute. A oh, weird Devin Anus Devo Nanastar also sent me four dollars and twenty cents. I don't get the joke. I don't get it. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic <sighs> voice message system. I'm trying to call that lady back so I can explain Cleveland steamers to her. Even though I I don't actually know what a Cleveland steamer is. I always get all these weird terms confused. Is that where you poop in someone's toilet tank? Is that the correct thing? Your call has been forwarded to an automatic... Hey, Clifton Collins, I don't know you shit, motherfucker. There, there's your shout out. Take that. But really, if you didn't get your stickers, just email me again. Jeez. Oh, that's an upper decker. Six week tenure. A California hot pocket. What the fuck's a Cleveland? Don't tell me what a Cleveland steamer is. I don't care. I'm sure I do them all the time, but I'm just not into labels, man. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice. Elsa must not want to sell her desks. I like that she's selling L-shaped desks and her name is Elsa. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you, Eric Last. Please leave your message for two zero. All right. That was the last one. Like, I want to call at least one more person. Let me check another area. All right, here we go. Pete's having a garage sale. I'll bring my shit over to Pete's house. Hello. Hey, Pete. Yeah. Hey, you're, you're still doing the garage sale? Yeah. Why the long this? why the long face, Pete? You sound sad. Who's this? Uh this is Roy. I'm coming over here in a little bit. Um I'm I'm on Roy. my way to your yard sale. I'm in my truck. I've got a bunch of stuff. I've got like some couches. I'm going to I'm going to put them in your driveway to sell. And uh What? Did Ernie okay this? No, no. I I'm I don't even know Ernie. I'm just gonna bring some stuff over. I have a refrigerator. Uh, well, I, I have we some, don't want it here. 
Well, no, it's like you can sell it. I'm not asking for money. I'm just trying to clean all the shit out of my garage. Yeah, got, well, I'm not gonna be your I'm not gonna be your trash can, dude. No, it's not, like no, I don't can, know who you are. I've got um, I've got broken lawnmowers. I'm not gonna be your trash can. I've got broken. I have a hard enough time trying to get rid of my own stuff. I know, but it, you can make the money off of it. I've got broken trash um, lawnmowers and and like a bunch of stuff here. I just I want to get rid of it. I've got a refrigerator from the fifties. Well, I I do def, definitely not don't want any. I don't want anything to do with refrigerators or couches or anything like that. It's one of those old refrigerators that locks, and it's got lead in it, so the junkyard won't even uh, take it. Well, that, that's not my problem, man. You, you can sell it. Uh, you, you, need to get, you need to get rid of the stuff yourself, and I don't mean drop it off on my doorstep. No, that's what I'm going to do. If, if you don't let me come today, I'm just going to drop it off tonight. Oh, wonderful. Like, like the middle, uh, middle of the night? How do you like that? Oh, wonderful. You know, well... I got your phone number. Well, I guess we can backtrace the call and call the cops. Oh, don't you. backtrace me. No, I was just kidding about dropping it off. I'm going to drop it off today, though. And I'm going to look well, at your I yard. I don't want it. I'm going to look at your yard sale, too. Do you have that pinball machine still? It's not for sale. Well, why is it in the picture? It's in the picture, so it's for sale. How much? You know, I think we're about done here. No, I'll trade you my couch for it. I don't want your couch, dude. I don't want anything you have. But no, like the the, the refrigerator has lead in it. It's worth money. He's got a pinball machine, and holy shit, like he's got all these radios, like CB radios. He's got a set of intercoms, like so many CB radios, like just stacks and stacks of them. He's got like 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 you know meters and stuff. Like little, I'm gonna send this to Mr. Biggs. This will give him a huge boner. He's got loudspeakers. He's got a pinball machine for sale. It looks awesome. All right, community moving sale. I think that might be my last one. I'm just I'm gonna make a half-hearted attempt here to find one more number. That was a pretty good one to end on, right? I wonder if my neighbor's still having her yard sale. It's probably selling my mattress that she tried to steal. Yeah, I'm not finding anything. I left my weed pipe. I left my weed pipe at your yard sale. Okay, just me. I want my weed pipe back. Don't try to keep my weed pipe. <sighs> Snappy Bake says, tell them the clown statue I bought from them has since run away. You're too late, Snappy. It's there's a, there's a, the tone. Please record your message. There's a delay. Jim Bob wants me to say it's a six-foot glass weed pipe. Oh, hello? Hello? I left my weed pipe at your yard sale by accident. I haven't had a yard sale. Yeah, uh -huh. it says right here on the Tradio. You didn't have... You had one on Friday. I was there. No, I didn't have one on Friday because I was at work. Why'd you lie then? Why'd you lie and say you had one? Well, we called and canceled it. Well, that's bullshit. If you looked the next day. Well, no, I looked the next day, and it was still there. It was there Friday and Saturday night. God damn it. And now I kind of just want to call a yard sale just to let them know that I left my weed pipe behind. Look what you guys have done to me. But I think we're going to end it. I'm, I'm clicking on things. I'm just not seeing anything. I'm looking, though. I'll finish up this page. I'll see if there's anything left on this page. Uh, Michael W. wants me to say I'm doing a daycare field trip. There's going to be 30 kids running around. I'm not going to do that today, but I'm going to save that. And maybe next, maybe on my next yard sale show I will do that. I've got my heart set on this weed pipe thing before I end the show for the day. Hi, you've reached Adam. Please leave a message and I'll return. Fucking Adam. Yard sale. Price to sell. <laughs> Here's a multifamily yard sale and tarot reading. Get your tarot cards reading read. That's my kind of garage sale. Oh man, that that needs to be one of my pranks. I'm gonna read tarot cards. I'm a psychic. That'll be worse than I was a when I was a preacher and I was gonna like preach at their yard sale. Well shit. I think the show's over. I guess I'll just have to lose my weed pipe next weekend. On next weekend's yard sale. 
I don't know. There's others down here, like... Ah, but they're future yard sales. Oh, look at this one. It's got a picture of a shotgun with a bunch of shells next to it. I wonder if they'll let us test that out. <laughs> yeah, these are all, like, next weekend sales. All right. I tried. Oh, wait. No, no. Here we go. Here we go. I just had to go down a little bit further. Okay. One last one. Let's call Sue. It's a two-family sale. Lots of antiques. Furniture. Good stuff. I'm sorry, but the per Balls. All right, let's try Donald. I, I think Donald has my weed pipe. <laughs> One last call equals 37 more calls. You're correct. It's like when you're going to watch just one more episode of something. Turns into like five. Hello, you've reached on. Fuck. All right, I think, that's, I, I think this is it. I think, I think it's over. I think we're done as I still click on things. <laughs> yep, yep, this is the end. This is the end of the show. To the very end, because there's no more phone numbers on any of the garage sale things. It's just not happening. No more happening. Oh, look, here's one. It's a moving sale Brandy's having. Let's see what Brandy has to say about my weed pipe. Brandy? Yes? Hey, I was at your yard sale earlier. Mm -hmm. Um, did you find my weed pipe? I left my weed pipe there. Uh, you were at my yard sale? Yeah. I've not, I've been at work, so how did you go to my yard sale? You had a yard sale yesterday. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You're just trying to keep my weed pipe for yourself, aren't you? <laughs> You're funny, bye. I'm serious. I paid $10 for that. Fuck. It says right here. There's a yard sale today. There was one yesterday and the day before. Brandy's a fucking liar. God damn it, Brandy. Well, anyway, next week I'm going to find that elusive weed pipe. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Thanks for the super chats. That was nice of you. Uh, uh, left me like a hundred dollars of Monopoly, whatever. <laughs> How's that garbage clock doing? And Eric sent me two bucks. Thanks, Eric, and thanks. Yeah, that name. Hopefully I'll be at this again next week, maybe. We'll see. I don't know. I guess. Bye, everyone. Hey, Brad. Hey, it's Crimson. Hey, Crimson. Hey, uh, so, a lot of people have been complaining on the Facebook group about voicemail. A lot of people? And my name got mentioned. You know, was it a lot of people, or was it just one person? Because that's not really a lot of people. That's just one guy, right? I take personal Isn't offense it? to that. We need, I mean, I guess, you know, the rational response would be for us to improve ourselves. But no, I'm just going to complain and say, everybody's wrong. Uh, my voicemails are entertaining. Yeah, and everybody. I'm not just leaving this voicemail with my own voice. I'm, I'm of leaving it for uh, the listeners. That's yeah. what it is. The yeah. listeners. That's right. And Brad, yeah, because Brad loves my voicemail. But of course you also think that I lose my fucking shit every time a girl calls in. So what do you know? Um, but on a more serious note, uh, I want to say thank you to whoever gave out all the payphone numbers in Salt Lake City. I've been giving them calls and just chatting up random people Good from times. time to time. And almost every single one has been really nice and polite. That's and good. It's been a lot of fun, so That's I great. really appreciate that. Okay. All right, bye, Brad. I hope right, you have bye. a good day. All right, bye. I quickly ended that one so we couldn't go on for another 30 seconds. Thanks, Crimson. Thanks for not going, hey, Brad, like you used to. I think that's what they're remembering. I didn't even have to shorten it up this time. You're just like, hey, Brad, like a normal Fuck person. Fuck yeah, Great. Snowplow show. Hey. Hey, it's the snowplow show. Yeah. Hey, it, it's the snowplow show. It is. Yeah, yeah, it's the snowplow show. Yep. It's the snowplow show. Snowplow show. Whoa, yeah. it's a snowplow show. Am I supposed show. to be quiet? Get ready for it. It's the snowplow show. Whoa, it's the snowplow show. I the like The snowplow show. I like this. The snowplow show. The snowplow show. Snow. Plow show. Uh, no. 
You're losing me. It's a snowplow show. Da 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 da. It's a snowplow oh, here, show. Here's the instrumental. Here's the breakdown. 420 blaze faggot. That's right. Okay. I should make that today's intro, but no, nah, it's too much work. I don't want to do that. Hey, Brad. It's Justin from Maryland. Just had another technical uh, thing to point out for you on your website. Okay. I noticed that the most recent episode of the snowplow show, 564, is not showing up on the phone losers website. Oh no. Um, it's on the snowplowshow.com, but when you go to Phone Losers to their main page, the home page, the most recent episode it shows is 563. Oh no. So I don't know if there's some sort of uh, technical snafu that's causing it to not show up, uh. um, but it's not showing up, so just wanted to let you know. All right, bye-bye. Okay, thank you. I'm looking right now and I see it, so I don't know, maybe it showed up after you left this voicemail? It seems to be there though. Usually it takes about an hour for it to make it from snowplowshow.com. That's where I originally post it. And then every hour, phonelosers.com checks to see if there's a new show. And if there is, it posts it on the site. So it's possible you caught it before it had posted. It's a really terrible system I've got. I'm sorry. It's my fault. Hey, Brad. It's Tempe, Arizona. But um, I'm on summer break, so I'm in New Orleans. Anyway, I was fully saved us a bunch of your herbicides and stuff how it shows because I'm going to be driving back from Louisiana to Arizona which means like going through hundreds of hundreds of miles of like bleak desert so I thought it better you know it'll, it'll be like worth the scene right because it'll be cacti I don't listen to Snowplow show anyway but good times I couldn't resist and I listened to one of the episodes it was really really funny with like the telling people they were renaming their uh, like streets to Bernie Sanders drive I always I forgot about that whole premise you know? me too so that was really good Anyway, um, you know, I guess the summer is like almost halfway over, so it sure is. Ding timber, right? I guess you're not nope. going to do that this year because nope. people kept being no ding timber about it. Um, but uh, you know, I don't know. It'd be cool if we could maybe do like a substitute, maybe postpone it, make it ding tober or October. <laughs> I don't know. There's What's the some difference? Idea as well, but anyway, thanks for the show. It was really funny. Cactus, cactus. You're welcome. Yeah, sorry everyone, no Ding Timber this year. Not even going to attempt it. Last year, I tried to pass it on over to Dwight, and I forget exactly what happened, but people were doing things that he was uncomfortable with, so it got canceled. Again, not Dwight's fault. Same reason that I was passing it over to people. People keep doing dumb things. But I can absolutely promise you, if I'm still doing this show in 2023, there will be a Ding Timber. Again, it's not over forever. It's just over for the next two or three years. Unless I die, you know, I, I could die. I'm, hey, I'm, Roy. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm old. I wanted to give you an idea. Uh, I was listening to your latest No Flock show where you were swearing at people. Why, why don't you just email me the idea? Dick face. A, come on. Um, you just got to say you have Tourette's. Yeah, okay, I have Tourette's. Good one. Thank you. I have Tourette's. Great idea. Hi, RBCP. I actually sent you the link, and it was actually called uh, the actually. Tele Challenge 2018 DEF CON. Mm-hmm. Uh, you should have it now. I just wanted to apologize for messing up. Okay. Uh, this time, I'm going to be cooking some hamburgers. So, yeah, I got to go. Got to feed the family. Yep. Talk to you later. All right, bye. No idea what you're referring to. I'm old. Bad memory. Hey, Brad. This About to die. Josh calling from the PLA corporate office. I was coming to let you know that I like your podcast. Thanks. And uh, keep up the good work. But anyway, cactus, cactus. All right. Thank you. Hi there, ranting baked cactus philosopher. It's your main man, Rico Rocks, coming at you live. I'm calling from your mother's room. Whoa. Anyways. That's mean. I just wanted to say I downloaded some episodes for today's excursions, and I noticed an episode called Powder, and I watched Powder like last week based on a recommendation from a few weeks ago. It's crazy. And now there's an episode I'm going to listen to today called powder so i'm looking forward to that you're in for a treat powder gotta love powder man it must sure do yep but yeah i use a youtube converter that's how i listen to your shows i go daily usually download about six you youtube convert my shows god damn it everyone okay listen there's this magical new thing that's existed for about 10 years now it's called a podcast app for your cell phone Go to your app store on your cell phone and search for podcast app, I guess, or just podcast. 
If you're on Android, a good one to get is Podcast Addict. Then, from Podcast Addict, or whatever podcast app you choose, on iOS, the best thing to use is just called Podcasts, you should search for Phone Losers of America, or Snowplow Show, or any of the other show names that I do, and then you just spend a few minutes playing around with the options, get it to auto-download into your phone. Whenever a new podcast shows up, it will automatically download into your phone. And that way it'll be available whenever you need it. Whenever you're away from your Wi-Fi, it will be in there. It won't use up your mobile data. You don't have to YouTube convert anything. It's just there as an MP3 file, as it was originally intended. And to top it off, you get extra stuff in the podcast version as opposed to the YouTube version. Like the full song on the end of the show. I always have to cut it off on YouTube because YouTube likes to punish me for playing copyrighted music. But not on the podcast feed. The podcast feed has an MP3 of the entire show in its entirety, songs and all. I don't have to worry about dumb little copyright rules. So save yourself a bunch of time. Search for a podcast app for your cell phone. Podcast Addict is a good one for Android. It's really easy to use. And when you use those, then you have access to a bunch of other shows. You know, really great podcast shows, comedy shows, other prank call shows. You'd be crazy not to do this. It's 2019. God damn it, Rico Rocks. uh, It's just copy and paste the link into a converter and it'll turn the video file into a No! So I listen. Stop it! It's within a couple minutes per episode of download. So I get my daily intake. I don't know how you guys watch it, but I use the YouTube converter. Never again. If you have any questions on that, I could feel free to ask. No. Uh, Nobody see. contact Rico Rocks. Don't do it his way. Do it my way. Use the podcast app. What's up? I'm catching up. God I'm in the end of 2018. I'll see you in 2019 soon. Bye. All right. Bye, Rico Rocks. Thanks for the voicemail. Thanks for making my heart rate go up. Hey, I'm Mr. Abstruse from the Discord. Hey, Hi, Mr. Abstruse. Hey, almost naked, especially bodybuilders. Maybe I can see you naked sometime, Brad. Okay. Got some pants. Again, this is Mr. Abstruse. Bye-bye. I'd like to point out that there's a very good possibility that that was not Mr. Abstruse from the Discord channel. I think that could have been an imposter just trying to ruin Mr. Abstruse's good name. Oh, shit, Brad Carter, Brad Carter. Okay, I just had to hear what that, uh... What that voicemail is about. I keep hearing about it. Everyone, yee, 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 voicemail, voicemail. I, I took it away. It doesn't, it's not there anymore. No one says what it is. Yep. Yep. Now yep. I get it. All right. No, you don't. You don't get it. I took it away. It's a boring voicemail now. Um, other than that, keep up the good work. This is the Reaper out of California. I listen every day for multiple hours and uh, put more hobo sods out. Okay. Happy day. I'll do it. Thanks for listening. Hey, it's Dr. Astronaut. Um, I just want to put this out there for everybody. Uh, I'm selling my car. It's a Honda. It's reliable. Uh, I've also got a uh, a bunch of Amiibos. Yay. Because I'm, I'm moving. So I've got a bunch of Amiibos. And uh, that's it. I just wanted to let your listeners know first. <sighs> Thanks, Dr. Astronaut. Because, um, you know, I want to give it to somebody I trust and care about. Good times. So, All right. Bye, Dr. Astronaut. In Honda. Yeah, yeah. Boy, bye, yeah. bye, Dr. Astronaut. Thanks for the long voicemail that says basically nothing. You know, I was listening to Dr. Astronaut the other day while I was out in the town, and he was doing this hilarious thing where he called up, I guess, Best Buy Geek Squads and said he just bought an Amazon Alexa from him, and it was going into Chinese mode, and you could hear the Amazon Alexa in the Alexa voice say, Hello, Alexa, now on Rhine. Like doing a very offensive accent, and he was saying the Chinese were watching him, and I don't know. It was pretty amusing. Everybody should give him a listen over at Mixler.com slash PhD. I listen to him every once in a while. He's pretty funny. You wouldn't know it from that voicemail you just heard, but I enjoyed it. It was funny. Hey, Brad. It's Kristen calling hey. from Matthew's house. Um, I just wanted to tell you... He's a good boy. He's oh, a good boy. Thanks. Brad's a good boy. I sure am. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a very good boy. Thanks, Kristen. Let me give you the Google translation of what you just said to me. I just wanted to tell you, you so good at pool. I lose a global my Brad's Acapulco. Goodbye. <laughs> so there you go. There's your translation of what you just said. 
Thanks for the voicemail. And that's it today. That's the last voicemail. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Hope you enjoyed the live show, as well as all the voicemails. I know all those people over at the Facebook group love the voicemails. It's your favorite part of the show. Thank you to the sponsors of today's show, F and Reality, Miguel F, Serial Shitter, FOD87, and I Regret Jumping. If you'd like to support the show, please do that by going to patreon.com slash phonelosers or phonelosers.com slash cactus. It's only $5 a month. You get an extra show every week. I did one on Wednesday about brick pizza ovens in my apartment. Basically a brand new Tenants from Hell. And last week I did a carding call. You know, someone was in the voicemail saying that he likes the cardings. I actually did a carding on a hobo sewed last week on Friday. There was a brand new carding call. It worked out great. The guy was very unhappy with me. I highly recommend listening to hobo sewed number 186 called Carding Friday. You can hear that by going to patreon.com slash phone losers. All right, bye, everyone. In Albany, there is nothing to do, so we go to the mall again, just like... 420-6969, right? <laughs> That's the one.